Cybersecurity Quizzes. How much do you know? Let's begin. 1. What does HTTPS stand for? Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. Encrypts data between a user's browser and websites to secure from interception. So, credit cards and passwords are not viewed by others. 2. What does IoT stand for in cybersecurity? Internet of Things refers to the network of connected devices that can collect and exchange data. 3. What is a backdoor in cybersecurity? A hidden method for bypassing normal authentication in a system. 4. What is a botnet? A network of infected computers controlled by a hacker to perform coordinated tasks. 5. What is a brute force attack? Attempting to guess passwords or encryption keys by trying all possible combinations. 6. What is a bug bounty program? program where organizations reward individuals for finding and reporting software bugs, especially those related to security vulnerabilities. 7. What is a data breach? An incident where confidential information is accessed or stolen by unauthorized parties. 8. What is a DDoS attack? Distributed denial of service overwhelming a system with traffic from multiple sources to make it unavailable. 9. What is ADMZ in network security? Demilitarized zone, a physical or logical subnetwork that separates an internal network from external networks. 10. What is a firewall? A network security system that monitors and controls incoming and outgoing network traffic. 11. What is a hardware security module, HSM? A physical device that safeguards and manages digital keys for strong authentication and provides crypto processing. 12. What is a honeypot in cybersecurity? decoy system designed to attract and trap potential attackers. 13. What is a keylogger? Software that records every keystroke made on a computer. 14. What is a logic bomb? A piece of code intentionally inserted into software to perform a malicious function when specified conditions are met. 15. What is a man-in-the-middle attack? An attack where the attacker secretly relays and possibly alters communication between two parties. 16. What is a packet sniffer? software or hardware that can intercept and log traffic passing over a digital network. 17. What is a patch in cybersecurity? A software update designed to fix security vulnerabilities or other bugs. 18. What is a rootkit? collection of software tools that enable unauthorized access to a computer system while actively hiding its presence. 19. What is a SQL injection attack? A code injection technique used to attack data-driven applications by inserting malicious SQL statements into entry fields. 20. What is a strong password? A long, complex combination of upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. 21. What is a Trojan horse?
malware disguised as legitimate software to trick users into installing it. 22. What is a VPN? Virtual Private Network, a service that encrypts your internet connection and hides your online identity. 23. What is a zero-day vulnerability? A software flaw unknown to the vendor that hackers can exploit before it's patched. 24. What is biometric authentication? A security process that relies on unique biological characteristics to verify a user's identity. 25. What is BYOD in cybersecurity? Bring your own device, a policy allowing employees to use personal devices for work purposes, which can pose security risks. 26. What is cryptojacking? The unauthorized use of someone else's computer to mine cryptocurrency. 27. What is cyber hygiene? Regular practices and precautions users take to keep sensitive data organized and safe, and to maintain system health. 28. What is DNS poisoning? A type of attack that corrupts domain name system data, causing the name server to return an incorrect IP address. 29. What is encryption? The process of encoding information to make it unreadable without the correct decryption key. 30. What is endpoint protection? Security approach that focuses on securing end-user devices like desktops, laptops, and mobile devices. 31. What is malware? Malicious software designed to disrupt, damage, or gain unauthorized access to a computer system. 32. What is phishing? A cyber attack that uses disguised emails to trick recipients into revealing personal information. 33. What is ransomware? Malware that encrypts a victim's files and demands payment for the decryption key. 34. What is salting in password storage? Adding random data to a password before hashing to make it more resistant to rainbow table attacks. 35. What is sandboxing? Running programs in an isolated environment to test for malicious behavior. 36. What is shoulder surfing? A physical technique used to obtain personal information by looking over someone's shoulder as they use a device. 37. What is social engineering in cybersecurity? Manipulating people into divulging confidential information or performing actions that compromise security. 38. What is spyware? Software that secretly gathers information about a person or organization. 39. What is the CIA triad in information security? Confidentiality, integrity, and availability, the three main objectives of information security. 40. What is the concept of security through obscurity? The belief that a system can be secure by keeping its design or implementation a secret. 41. What is the dark web? part of the internet that requires special software to access and is often used for illegal activities. 42. What is the difference between antivirus and anti-malware software? 
Antivirus primarily focuses on preventing and detecting viruses, while anti-malware is broader, covering various types of malicious software. 43. What is the difference between symmetric and asymmetric encryption? Symmetric uses one key for both encryption and decryption, while asymmetric uses a public key to encrypt and a private key to decrypt. 44. What is the GDPR? General Data Protection Regulation, a regulation in EU law on data protection and privacy for all individuals within the European Union. 45. What is the NIST Cybersecurity Framework? A set of guidelines and best practices to help organizations improve their cybersecurity risk management. 46. What is the principle of defense in depth? A cybersecurity approach that uses multiple layers of security controls to protect assets. 47. What is the principle of least privilege? Giving users the minimum levels of access necessary to perform their job functions. 48. What is the purpose of a security audit? To evaluate an organization's security posture by assessing its compliance with security policies and identifying vulnerabilities. 49. What is the role of a CISO? Chief Information Security Officer responsible for establishing and maintaining the enterprise vision, strategy, and program to ensure information assets and technologies are protected. 50. What is two-factor authentication, 2FA? A security process requiring two different forms of identification to access an account. We hope you enjoyed it and learned new information. Thank you for your attention and support.